Hi guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a glow up with me for Valentine's Day. I thought this would be fun to do because I don't usually do this on my channel and I don't know, I thought it would be something fun. I'm going to include a lot of different things because I have a lot to do. I also wanted to kind of make this like a quarantine glow up with me because even though things are slightly open in New Jersey, it's not really like it used to be and I feel like a lot of people could say that. So that is what I'm going to be doing in this video. If you guys like it, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and leave me a comment down below. And with all that being said, let's get into the video. So I'm obviously in my bathtub right now, which I usually don't do at all. I usually actually never take baths but I thought it would be a good idea to start off my video like this just because I did work out this morning so I did have to take a shower or bath or you know just clean up so everything that I put in the bath was just this lavender bath salt that I really like and then I also have this little exfoliator right here it is a sugar scrub and it's lavender and it smells so good I'm going to be using this for like my body scrub and then I also have to shave my legs because you know it's just needed and yeah so I'm going to go ahead and go do that. To shave, I like to use this smooth and sleek conditioner from Pantene. I don't really use shaving cream just because I don't personally like it. And I think that on me, conditioner works better. going to get the water out of the bathtub and then go into the shower wash my hair wash my face and then once I get out I will show you guys my skincare and everything else that I need to get done today I just got out of the shower I put some clothes on and I'm just wearing these like sweatpants so right now I'm going to take my hair out of this towel I like to towel dry it just because I feel like it gets a lot of the water out of my hair and now I have to actually brush my hair so in the shower I usually use Pantene original shampoo and conditioner and then when I come out of the shower I use a detangular spray for the spray I use this instant therapy leave-in conditioner it looks like this and I really like it when I get out of the shower it literally defrizzes my hair makes it so so detangled, instantly hydrates it, and it's very light, which is very, very good. It also reconstructs and strengthens your hair, and it leaves your hair like shiny and looking really good, which I really like. I feel like everyone likes that. So literally all I do is I just spray a lot of it in my hair and just let it do its job. It also smells so good. Like I love the smell of it. So that is always a plus as well. I think I got it at like Walgreens or CVS. My mom got it but I think that's where she got it from and yeah so that's what I do then I use my wet brush especially when I get out of the shower so I'm just going through my hair my hair is always very knotty despite how much conditioner I put in my hair which isn't always the best but this is just what I do. And then if I feel like I need more of this detangler, I'll just put more in. And then it's just easier to brush through all the knots in my hair. So after I get all the knots out, I kind of just let it air dry for a little bit when I do the rest of my routine. So the next thing that I need to do is put on moisturizer on my lips and on my body. So I'm going to do that. For moisturizer, I use just chapstick. And then I use this cream right here. For me, it really works because I have slight eczema on my feet and then on my body this just works for me so I use this one and sometimes I'll use like the scented ones but for me I realize that when I don't use scented cream it helps more so I'm going to go ahead and go do this we fell in love in the winter but I miss you most in the fall three years eleven months together after one night in Montreal. The next thing that I like to do is my eyebrows. So I just use this little tweezer right here. It's just a purple little tweezer. And I just like to pluck around my eyebrows. So I do here, here, here. And then after that, I like to use this little thing. So this is how I get like the peach fuzz off my face. And I really like this. Basically what you do is you just put it on and like do circular motions and it gets the peach fuzz off my face, which I really like. So I'm going to do my my eyebrows and like shave my face. The next thing 
that I like to do is whiten my teeth. So when I whiten my teeth, I always brush my teeth first and then I just use these Crest white strips. They look like this and I put one on the upper and one on the bottom and then you leave them in for like 30 minutes and then I take them off. Obviously to get the best results, I think you're supposed to keep doing it. But for today, I'm just going to do it once and then I'll show you guys the results once I'm done whitening my teeth. wanted to mention is that I know a lot of people do like self tan and a face mask but personally I really don't like face masks because I feel like they personally make me break out so I'm not going to do one of those and as for self tan I've never self tanned before and I feel like if I did it on camera for the first time it would just get messed up so I'm not going to do it but I am going to try it and see how I like it just not for this video and then in my next glow up with me or self care routine or whatever it may be I will definitely do the self tan but that is why I'm not doing those two things. And then as for my eyebrows, I personally don't dye them because I have no idea how to, but just wanted to put that out there because I know so many people do those three things. So I wanted to say why I wasn't personally doing them. I just took the strips out and I think they look better. I'm not really sure, but I do think I see a little improvement. So that is always good. But right now I'm just going to wait for my hair to dry and then I'm going to go outside, get all the snow off my car. And then I'm probably going to go ahead and get my nails done because they need to be done. I just called the nail salon and I'm getting my nails done in about 10 minutes, which is good because again, they look really bad. So I am probably going to get either like a Valentine's Day color. So maybe like a red or a pink or maybe just a neutral color, but I will update you guys later. I just got back from the nail salon. They look so pretty. I'm literally like obsessed with them. I don't know. I love getting tips and I feel like it's such like a Valentine's Day color, which is always really nice, especially when the holidays are coming around and everything like that. But now that everything is done, I am actually going to start getting ready. So I'm going to do my makeup and I thought I would walk you guys through how I usually do my makeup when I'm getting ready for an event or something like that. So the first thing that I use is my Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra longwear foundation and I really like this. It really does a good job at whatever foundation is supposed to do. I think it is good coverage and everything like that. I'm just going to put that all over my face. I really like how it kind of like blends in easily because I realized that some foundation doesn't but I got this one a couple years ago and ever since I did pick it up or I got it for Christmas actually but ever since I got it I have really liked it. The only thing that's kind of annoying about this foundation is that it is more on the expensive side. I do think it's a good product, but there's definitely good products out there that are not as expensive. So I might switch it up just to see how I like other ones as well to see if I can save money. But that is how I'm feeling. I really like this foundation though and I do recommend it. It does do a good job. The next thing I do is I use my Studio MAC Fix Powder and I just kind of use that to set in the foundation. I don't put a lot on, just a little to set everything in. After after I use that, I like to use this pretty fun and fearless little palette right here that I have. I have no idea where this is from. This is what it looks like though. I'm sorry, it looks a little dirty, but I tried to use a makeup wipe to get it not dirty and it just wasn't working. What I like to do is I'm going to use a gold little eyeshadow and put that on the base of my eye. And I do that because I have green eyes and I've noticed that with like green eyes, gold really complements my eyes. So it like makes them pop, which I like. Then what I like to do is I take a kind of like neutral color and then I'll put it in my crease of my eye. So just like right here and kind of like blend in all of the eyeshadow. So then I am going to take a like purple pinkish color. I'm going to put it over the crease but only on like this side just because I think it stands out a little and you know Valentine's Day so want to look a little festive. I like how it's like more like neutral so you can't really see it on camera probably well but in person you can see how it has like like a little tint, which I like. And then the last thing I did was I just put the pink color right here just because I think it looks kind of cute when people do that. So that's what I like to do. Then the next thing I do is I use my eye 
eyeliner and I just put eyeliner on. I can't do eyeliner on camera, so I'm going to do it off of camera just because I need to stand up to go in my bathroom to do it just because that's the only way I can get it to look good. So I will be right back once I put these products on, but basically I use this little eyeliner and then for mascara, I use this mascara. After I put that on, what I like to do is put on my eyebrow gel. So for my eyebrow gel, I use this little gel thing from Glossier. So it looks like this. It's boy brow and I love this product so much. I can't even express how much I love this product because I literally love it. There's no other words. Basically, I just put a very little on and go over my eyebrow and then I do the same Thing to the other eyebrow and then the last thing I like to do for makeup is obviously my lips I use this sugar rush lip gloss from Tarte and I just put this on my lips it adds like a nice tint which I really like I really like the shade and that's basically all I do for makeup the next thing I like to do is do my hair so for my hair I would usually either straighten it crimp it or curl it I think for today I might crimp it just because I really like how my hair looks crimp so basically what I do is I use this crimper that I have and then I just crimp my hair So I'll do a little montage of that and I already have my earrings in that I would wear So I only have to put on a necklace and then change So I'm going to do my hair really quick and then we are going to get into the outfit part Which is going to be hard because picking out outfits is really hard for me So I might show you guys a couple outfits that I would choose from depending on the occasion because of quarantine and everything It's really hard to kind of determine what you can do for Valentine's Day But I think it's more important that you're able to be with the people that you love on that day and if you're not then at least you can FaceTime them maybe you could have like a FaceTime date or something like that or a FaceTime get together it kind of depends on the circumstances of the state or country you are in but in New Jersey like I said it really isn't that closed there's just little restrictions compared to like other countries and states we are not in full quarantine so in New Jersey we are allowed to go to restaurants but I'm going to go do my hair and then I'll give you guys some ideas for clothes and everything Thing like that depending on what you may be doing My hair is done and now I'm going to pick out an outfit. So if I was going to like a Valentine's Day dinner, I would probably wear this black little dress with these boots right here. So I'm going to try that on and show you guys how that looks. And then I'll also give you other options for if you're staying home or if you want to be more casual or something like that. This is the dress. It is really cute. It's from Garage. And then I'm just wearing these little shoes that I got from Target. But I really like the outfit. I think it looks really cute. And this is something I would wear if I was going like out to dinner or something like that but if I was just staying home then I would probably wear these outfits that's about it for this video if you liked it be sure to give it a huge thumbs up subscribe to my channel leave me a comment down below I hope you all have a great Valentine's Day and I will see you guys in my next video bye